wireless network technology. This video refreshes the fundamentals of wireless communication starting from the basics. These are the outcomes. Protocols and Standards A network protocol is an established set of rules that determine how data is transmitted between different devices in the same network. Standards define the rules for data communication. These are the examples for few standard bodies. The IEEE is an international body and also ETSI is a European body that specifies standards used by telecommunication networks operating within 56 European countries and also ITU was originally called the International Telegraph Union is a committee under the United Nations organization and is committed to resolving issues related to information and communication technology. These are the examples for some IEEE standards. OSI model. OSI model describes seven layers that computer system used to communicate over a network. In the OSI reference model, the communication between a computing system are split into seven different abstraction layers. Application, presentation, session, transport, network, Data link and physical are these layers. Application layer is used by end user software such as web browsers and email clients. Presentation layer prepares data for the application layer. It defines how two devices should encode, encrypt, and compress data so it is received correctly on the other end. The session layer creates communication channels called sessions between devices. It is responsible for opening sessions, ensuring they remain open and functional while data is being transferred, and closing them when communication ends. Transport layer takes data transferred in the session layer and breaks it into segments on the transmitting end. The network layer has two main functions. One is breaking up segments into network packets and reassembling the packets on the receiving end. The other is routing packets by discovering the best path across a physical network. Data link layer establishes and terminates a connection between two physically connected nodes on a network. Physical layer is responsible for physical cable or wireless connection between network nodes. Let us see relationship between ISO, OSI 7 layer and TCP IP protocol source. OSI has 7 layers whereas TCP IP has 4 layers. And also OSI refers to open system interconnection whereas TCP refers to transmission control protocol. OSI follows a vertical approach whereas TCP IP follows horizontal approach. Let us see analog and digital data and signals. An analog signal is a continuous signal for which the time varying feature of signal is a representation of some other time varying quantity. A digital signal is signal that represents data as a sequence of discrete values. Amplitude, frequency, and phase are some significant features of signal. Amplitude means the height of the wave and often related to the power. The frequency of a wave is the number of waves that pass by each second and is measured in hertz. Phase is not a property of just one RF signal but instead involves the relationship between two or more signals that share the same frequency. The phase involves the relationship between the position of the amplitude creates and through of two wave form. Let's see impairments of transmission media. Attenuation, it means loss of energy. The strength of signal decreases with increasing distance which causes loss of energy overcoming resistance of medium. 
This is also known as actuated signal. Amplifiers are used to amplify the actuated signal which gives the original signal back and compensate for the loss. Distortions, it means, changes the form of shape of the signal. This is generally seen in composite signals made up with different frequencies. Each frequency's component has its own propagation speed traveling through a medium. And that's why it delay in arriving at the final destination. Every component arrives at different time which leads to distortion. Therefore, they have different phases at receiver end from what they had at sender's end. Noise, the random or unwanted signal that mix up with the original signal is called noise. There are several types of noise such as include noise, crosstalk noise, thermal noise and impulse noise which may correct the signal. Analog and digital transmission concepts. Plus code modulation is a method used to digitalize represent sampled analog signals. In the PCM stream, the amplitude of analog signal is sampled regularly at uniform intervals and each sample is quantized to nearest value within the large of digital step. The transmitter section of Plus code modulator circuit consists of sampling, quantizing, and encoding, which are performed in the analog to digital converter section. The low pass filter prior to sampling prevents aliasing of the message signal. The basic operation in the receiver section are regeneration of impaired signals. Decoding and reconstruction of concise plus train. This figure shows block diagram of PCM which represent the basic elements of both the transmitter and receiver section. Modulation is the process by which a carrier wave is able to carry the message or digital signal series of ones and zeros. There are three basic methods to this amplitude, frequency and phase shift key. Higher orders of modulation allows us to encode more bits per symbol of period. Multiplexing is the process of transmission of information from more than one source into single signal over a shared medium. In this slide, you can see multiplexing technique. There are three main multiplexing techniques. FDM, TDM and OFDM. Frequency division multiplexing FDM is a networking technique which combines many signal into one single one and then transmitted the combined signal through a common communication channel. Time division multiplexing TDM all signals operate with the same frequency at different times. OFDM multiple closely spaced orthogonal subcarrier signals with overlapping spectra are transmitted to carry data in parallel. Demodulation is based on fast Fourier transform algorithms. Spread spectrum. A collective class of signaling technique are employed before transmitting a signal to provide the sequel communication known as the spread spectrum modulation. Let us see the differences between data word and code word. In block coding, we divide our message into blocks, each of k bits called data words. We add our redundant bit to each block to make the length n equals k plus r. The resulting n bit blocks are called code words. Here you can see the example for data word and code word.
How the error can be detected from block coding? The sender creates code words out of data words by using generator that applies the rules and procedure of encoding. Each code word sent to the receiver may change during transmission. If the received code word is the same as one of valid code words, the word is accepted. The corresponding data word is extracted for use. If the received code word is not valid, it is discarded. However, if the code word is corrupted during transmission but the received word still matches a valid code word, the error remains undetected. This type of coding can detect only single errors. Two or more errors may remain undetected. How the errors can be corrected in block coding? Error correction is much more difficult than error detection. In error detection, the receiver needs to know only that the received code word is invalid. In error correction, the receiver needs to find the original code word sent. So, we need more credent bits for error correction than error detection. Cyclic code and checksum. Cyclic codes are special linear block codes with one extra property. The checksum is used to the internet by several protocols, although not at data link layer. Link linear and cyclic codes, the checksum is based on the construct of redundancy. Several protocols still use the checksum for error detection. Transmit buffer and receive buffer. Any receiving device has limited speed at which it can process incoming data and limited amount of memory in which to store incoming data. The receiving device must be able to inform the sending devices before those limits are reached and to request that the transmitting device send fewer frames or stop temporarily. Incoming data must be checked and processed before they can be used. The rate of such processing is often slower than the rate of transmission. For this reason, each receiving device has a block of memory called a buffer received for storing incoming data until they are processed. If the buffer begins to full up, the receiver must be able to tell the sender to have transmission. What is the importance of flow control? Flow control coordinates the amount of data that can be sent before receiving an acknowledgement and is one of the most important duty of data link layer. In most protocols, flow control is a set of procedures that tells the sender how much data it can transmit before it must wait for an acknowledgement from the receiver. HDLC protocol, high level data link control, is a bit oriented protocol for communication over point to point and multi point links. CSMA CA protocols. The basic idea behind CSMA CD is that a station needs to be able to receive while transmitting to detect a collision. When there is no collision, the station receives one signal, its own signal. When there is a collision, the station receives two signals, its own signal and the signal transmitted by a second station. To distinguish between these two cases, the received signal in these two cases must, must be significantly different. In other words, the signal from the second station need to be at significant amount of energy to the one created by the first station. However, in wireless network, much of sent energy is lost in transmission. The received signal has very little energy. 
Therefore, a collision may add only 5 to 10 percent additional energy. This is not useful for effective collision detection. Carriers' multiple access with collision avoidance was invented to avoid collision on wireless network. While the lands meet an additional layer, MAT layer, the MAT layer is the brain of Wi Fi. The multimedia access control data communication networks protocol sublayer, also known as the medium access control, is a sublayer of data link layer specified in the 7 layer OSI model. The medium access layer was made necessary by a system that shares a common communication medium. In this slide, you can see MAC frame structure. MAC control contains MAC protocol information. Priority destination MAC address, destination physical attachment point. Source MAC address, source physical attachment point. CRC, cyclic redundancy check. Error detecting code. The main fields of a frame in wireless LAN as laid down by IEEE 802.11R as depicted in the following diagram. Here you can see frame control. It is a 2 byte starting field composed of 11 subfields. It contains control information of the frame. Protocol version, the first subfield of a 2-bit field set to 0 series. It has been included to allow future version of IEEE 802.11 to operate simultaneously. Type is a 2-bit subfield that specifies where, whether the frame is data frame, control frame or management frame. Subtime, it is a 4-bit subfield states whether the field is request to send or clear to send control frame. To DS a single bit subfield indicating whether the frame is going to the access point which coordinates the communication in centralized wireless system. From DS a single bit subfield indicating whether the frame is coming from the AC. More fragments a single bit subfield which when set to 1 indicates that more fragments would follow. Retry a single bit subfield which when set to 1 specifies the transmission of a previous frame. Power management a single bit subfield indicating that the sender is adopting power save mode. More data, a single bit subfield showing that sender has further data frames for receiver. Protected frame, a single bit subfield indicating that there is an encrypted frame. Order, the last subfield is one bit informs the receiver that to the higher layers, the frame should be in an ordered sequence. Duration, it is 2 byte field that specifies the time period for which the frame and its acknowledgement occupy the channel. Address field, there are 3 6 byte address fields containing address of source, immediate designations and final endpoint respectively. Sequence, it is a 2 byte field that store the frame number. Data is a variable size field that carries the payload from the upper layers. Frame check sequence is a 4 byte field containing error detection information. In this video, we explored the wireless local area networks including VLAN, radio interface technology and IEEE 
0.01 ATNAC protocol. Analog and digital transmission concept, multiplexing, spread spectrum, transmission media characteristics, multiple access technologies, wired and wireless LAN concept and standards. These are the references. Thank you for watching.